Hey guys, it's me Pawn Rakal and in this Volume DSP tutorial, I am going to show you how you can launch your own native ad campaign in a step-by-step -step process by using Volume DSP. And the campaign that I am going to show you have already generated uh, over $500 in sales and off-sales in a Clickbank product that is called Okinawa Flat Bay Detoning. So I am going to break down everything in a step-by-step -step process and show you everything to watch this video till the end. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and like this video. If you have any question uh, while watching this video, then please do comment below. I'll be more than happy to answer you. Now, without doing any delay, uh, let's get started. So, this is my Volume DSP account. So, now the first thing you need to add is in this Volume DSP, you'll need to add the offer. So, as you can see, I have already added offer called okinawa so it is extremely simple to add this offer just you need to click on create and click on offer okay and then you just need to fill this thing here and this in case of tid equals to you need to put this curly bracket click id in this way okay so you can simply do this thing and then you can simply click on save and your offer is already added at here now the second thing you need to do is add landing page now in case of landing page if you need the landing page that i have used uh, to promote okinawa flat bully toning then i'll put the uh, share funnel link in the description of this video which you can click and get it uh, after signing up for a free account in system io you can directly import that landing page in your system io account so I'll also show you the landing page. So in order to uh, add the landing page, you simply need to click on create and click on a lander in this way. And then you need to type the name of the lander like Okinawa lander one. You can put this kind of things and put the landing page URL at here. And uh, this is the link that you need to put in your uh, call to action bottom like watch now or you know, watch the free video whatever the call to action you have kept in the landing page you need to put this link in there okay and uh, i'll show you uh, let's see at here okay no no let's see this one let's click on it see here okinawa lp um one and this is the landing page so let me show you the landing page uh, let me paste it So this is the landing page uh, that you can get within one click and I have given that link in the description. So this is made in system IO where you can get, well, you can literally sign up for system IO uh, for free. Okay. You don't even need to uh, put your card info at there. And uh, the call to action means like this watch now bottom as you can you just notice at here there will be a link. Okay if someone clicks on here they will be redirected to the okinawa offer okay and i have kept this link at every place you can simply replace these links similarly uh there is other landing page also like o2 o3 o4 in case of o2 here you can see it is same in o2 also it is same uh, but i am using this for Mo sorry for desktop version sorry for mobile version and this is for desktop version where i have changed the headline okay and there is also o3 also i think o3 is also sim okay so you can get this landing page for absolutely free in system io if you need it uh, now uh, once you have added the lander then you need to create the flows okay now just let's click on your flows I'll show you how you can create this flow easily. Just simply click on create, okay, and click on flow, and then give it a name, test flow one, and then everything is fine. Just click on next. It's as simple as that. Now, what you need to do is select lander here. You need to select lander here. You need to select offer. So let's select one lander right here. So let's say we selected this. Now click on add lander. Now you can select this 
okay now if you want to add more lander at once to select this and add lander tree or you can delete this also okay now similarly in case of offer select how many offer you want to put at here uh, let's say one okay you just need to put one because we are going to promote okinawa so in this way you can create this flow and you once you click on save then your flow will be saved in this way okay so, oh sorry so firstly you need to add the affiliate network also before uh, adding the offer okay i forgot that that's sorry for that just it is extremely simple to add affiliate network so you can just can click on create and click on affiliate network and then type click bank just select it okay and click on save and this clickbank land clickbank affiliate network will be added at here and then you can add these offers now it's time to create a campaign so let's click on campaigns and then click on create and click on dsp campaign now for this example we'll take a uh, nativo as a traffic source let's click on nativo but you can uh, go with mgid pre-approval also or you can also use web content whichever net traffic source you want to use you can use but uh, i'll be using nativo in this case and then just select here and make it active okay and then click on next and then uh, let's make it uh, desktop desktop okinawa and we'll be running on run on network in all the network okay you can do this much and then now in case of destination url if you directly want to promote the uh, clickbank product with the with your own hope link you can directly paste it here and don't need to create any flows or anything like that that i have shown you previously or what you can do is uh, you can simply click your copy your hope link and paste it at here and continue the process that i am going to show you but if you have landing page and offers okay and you need to create a flow and select the flow now let's click on here so this is the flow for desktop that i have created previously for okinawa so that's why i'll select this flow and dsp tracking domain would be this one and in case of brand domain uh, what i can do is i'll simply put the domain of this okinawa flat belly tonic itself so now in case of brand domain i'll put the domain of the product itself so once this much is done then you can put your united states or you can simply make it usa so once you do this much then click on next and then select a country and type united states and select the web and in your desktop and yeah and in case of here you can select the wi-fi only so there is only 7k reach it is showing so you can also select all if you want and in case of advanced targeting if you have any whitelist you can use that at here by selecting whitelist but we are going to promote on all widgets that are available for us okay here you can select wi-fi or you can also do all whatever you want you can do but it is showing 27 k reach and it is only saying 7 k reach in this okay so this much and then what you can do is you can click on next and then so in 50 percent budget this is 1.55 in 75 percent 1. 56 and 25% also it is showing same so we'll go with 1.56 
okay and then our total budget would be unlimited and our daily budget would be to fifty dollar so that we can select this option to run our campaign on smooth okay but if you select only if you put fifty dollar then you cannot select this smooth spend you need to spend as as soon as possible as that that's why we'll put to fifty dollar now if you see here i have only 95 dollar in my account but still i can put this budget okay and then in daily per site or app you can select this and put the limitation okay for example 2.5 dollar or if you may want to spend just one dollar per widget whatever your choice is you can simply put it here or you can um, do this also unlimited also okay it is your choice uh, for this example we'll put it uh, so we are only going to spend 2.50 dollar per widget in this way so now once this is finished then you can click on next click on new creative and then uh, let's fill this cta button in cta bottom you can type watch now similarly uh, in case of here is an icon just let's select it and let's go to desktop and let's select this tick mark here is i think by 80 and then in brand domain in case of brand name we will put flat belly tonic this way and then in title and description so we have this one headline that is this one let's paste it at here and then you can uh, sorry you can put same thing in the description also can do this or are soft or stoned you can do this uh, let's see what we have written in our landing page stoned yeah same thing we have written you can put this in description in this way so our headline is also ready our description is also ready now you need to click on this upload image and then you need to put this image so this image is 1200 and 900 px in nativo i you just use this much px image click on open so now uh, your focus should be mainly with this round thing you know it will make people think oh, what is that as I make this as a focus point similarly so always for make this one focus point okay this thing this is a little bit weird that's why you can make this focus point so that people will think oh what is this type of thing and they will click on this add okay so then you can click on next same thing you can do you can scroll it a little bit at here and then click on next you can do the same thing at here and then click on next do the same thing at here And then click on next do the same thing at here and then click on save so our creative is ready uh, everything we have kept it kept at here so now if you need to put multiple headlines you can just wait enter and put another headline at here okay it's your choice 
and similarly if you want to put another image you can simply click on upload image and upload it at now once you did this much then uh, everything is fine now simply click on create so you have one headline one image and then now you can click on create next <clears throat> so you can turn on this optimization but in the initial I do not uh, I do not turn on this optimization because I want to see some conversion from the placements and then in frequency frequency capping you can do two per day in one campaign okay and run campaign all the time so everything is fine now again you can recheck everything so our ad exchange is netable our setup is this one our flow has been selected this is a desktop campaign uh, targeting us web desktop all operating system wi-fi only bids and budget is 1.56 okay unlimited budget daily budget 250 daily per site 2.5 is smooth creative it's this one okay so maybe if you want to uh, change this image then what you can do is you can simply copy it and then start to edit this okay you can do that also okay so now let's do next and turn off this optimization you can turn it on okay so this will optimize uh, for cost per view uh, to make it like uh, those widgets which are not giving th this cost per view in 0 0.6 it will automatically pause it okay and you can also optimize with ICTR, CPC or cost per action. But in CPA, I have talked to our, my manager in Volume DSP, then they have told me that a minimum 100 conversion is needed to use this CPA in proper way. So that's why it is not useful in the beginning. Mm, and in case of auto pausing, you can make some rules just like you, you can see. Uh, if the cost is greater than three and widgets are less than five then pause that widget this is one automation rule that i have made but i i will not use it in the starting phase and you can simply click on here and learn more and you can create other auto page auto pausing rule also and then once this everything is done just turn it off and you can simply click on save and for better performance of your campaign we suggest adding more than one creative okay they are suggesting you to add more, more than one creative but uh, in this this just for example that's why i'm only putting one creative at here now you can simply click on save and your campaign will go to the review and once it is finished once the review is finished then and uh, it will be if it is approved then you will start to receive the traffic immediately so guys, uh, this is as simple as that to launch a volume DSP campaign. Uh, similarly, if you are uh, using ClickBank, then you need to connect your ClickBank with volume DSP, which is extremely simple to do. Okay, you can simply find that article on here. And I'll also make sure to put that uh, article link in the description of this video if you need that. Uh, I hope you like this video. If you have any question, then please do comment below and ask me. And uh, yeah this much i wanted to show you in this video so thanks for watching till here take care have a great life ahead bye bye